In this tutorial, we will tell you about the three options that you can use to start an e-commerce website. There are many websites which can be used for opening up a store. Open your web browser and type www.bigcommerce.com. Enter the name of your store, your email address, and a password for your account, and click on the Start Your Free Trial Today button. In order to create your store, you will need to enter some basic information about your store, such as the location of your store, the product which is to be sold, etc. Once you are done, the creation of your store will be in process. Once it is ready, click on the Visit Your Store button. You will land on the main setup page where you can change the look and other settings of the store through the seven steps which will appear on the page. First of all, click on the Settings option. From here, you can change the name of the store, enter the address, and make other changes while you are in the Website tab. Right next to the Website tab, there will be seven other tabs. It is not necessary to change all your settings, but let's have a look at some of them. The Language and Date tab allows you to set the time and date of your region. The Images tab allows you to set the image sizes. If you go to the Display Settings, you can select the number of products that will appear on the main page or the number of products per page. After you are done with the settings, click on the Save button which is on the top left corner of the page and you will be redirected back to the main page. To choose your store's design, click on the third option. From here, you can apply different themes to your website. In order to add a logo from your computer, Click on the Upload a Logo Image from My Computer radio button. Select the logo image and add it. In order to add a product, go back to your home page and click on the fourth option. As we have used a free template, some products will already be included in our store. To add a new product, first write the name of the product along with its SKU. In order to add description, go to the Product Description box. Click on the Picture icon if you want to add a picture and then return to your home page. Next, choose the Payment Procedure. Select the Payment Provider and enter the relevant information. After you are done, go to the Home page and click on the View Store button. Your store will open in a new window and from there you can click on your product. The image loading takes a bit of time, but if you click on the product, you will be able to see the image of the product along with its description. Another similar website is Shopify. Open your browser and type in www.shopify.com. Enter the information which is asked at the bottom of the page. Write the name of your store along with the email address and password, and then click on the Create Your Store Now button. After a few moments, your store will be created. To visit your store, click on the Take Me to My Store button. When the new page opens, click on the Add Your First Product button in order to add a product. Before you can do so, you will be required to enter some details such as your name, address, city, etc. After you are done with the details, click on the I'm Done button. You will be taken to your home page. At the bottom of the page, you will see that you can set your web page in an easy step-by-step -step procedure. If you take your mouse to Products, which is at the bottom of the page, it will direct you to the Products tab. Click on the tab and then select the Add a New Product option. Write details about your product and then scroll down to add the image for the product. At the lower end of the page, you can enter some more details. Once you are done, click on the I've completed this setup button. Your next step will be to customize the theme. At the top right hand side of the page, click on Themes and from the drop down menu select Theme Settings. You can change the color of your text along with many other things. Once you are done, click on the Apply Changes button and then return to Home. It is not necessary that you make changes. Just click on the I've completed this step button to skip the step. In the next step, which is related to taxes, we have made some changes just to show you how you can modify your settings. 
Next step allows you to set up your shipping settings. Click on the Preferences button and from the drop-down menu select Shipping. After you are done, enter your shipping charges and click on the View My Store button. When the store opens, you can see that the hammer which we have included in the products category is shown. In order to order the hammer, you can click on the Buy button. The third website which gives you similar services is www.volusion.com. That's V-O-L-U-S-I-O-N.com. After you have logged on to the website, click on the Try It Free button. You will be given a 14-day trial period. Fill in the relevant information, and after you are done, click on the Start My Trial button. A basic theme will be applied to your store. Click on the Quick Start button, which is at the bottom of the page, and a menu will appear in front of you. You can personalize the theme or add a product by going to the Add Product tab. Write a description about your product, and to add an image, click on the Add Image button. Once the product has been added, you can view it on your store. Now let us suppose you want to change the shipping settings. Click on the dashboard which is at the top of the window and then click on the settings tab. Once the drop down menu appears, select shipping. Once the shipping page opens, select the countries that you will be offering shipping services to. After filling in the required details such as name, zip code, etc., choose the carrier that you will use.